Yeah, they, you'll know it's working when you see the red line up there. It's, it's just kind of opens it up a little bit. So let us pray together in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. God's grace comes upon us. You know, each day helps us to recognize his love as we receive his compassion. Came to take away the sin of the world, Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. Came to call sinners to yourself, Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Plead for us, the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God, mercy on every one of us. Forgive us of our sinful ways, bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. God, protector of those who are without whom nothing as firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us, and grant that with uh, you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold even more now to those that endure forever. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, and God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. As Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two tablets of the commandments in his hand, he did not know that the skin of his face had become radiant while he conversed with the Lord. When Aaron then and the other children of Israel saw Moses and noticed how radiant the skin of his face had become, they were afraid to come near him. Only after Moses called to them did Aaron and all the rulers of the community come back to him. Moses then spoke to them. Later on, all the children of Israel came up to him, and he enjoyed on them all that the Lord had told him on Mount Sinai. When he finished speaking with them, he put a veil over his face. Whenever Moses entered the presence of the Lord to converse with him, he removed the veil until he came out again. When coming out, he would tell the children of Israel all that had been commanded. Then the children of Israel would see that the skin of Moses' face was radiant. So he would again put the veil over his face until he went in to converse with the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. the Lord our God. Extol the Lord our God and worship at his footstool. Holy is he. Holy is the Lord our God. Moses and Aaron were among his priests and Samuel among those who called upon his name. They called upon the Lord and he answered them. Holy is the Lord our God. From the pillar of cloud he spoke to them. They heard his decrees and the law he gave them. Holy is the Lord our God. Extol the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain, for holy is the Lord our God. Holy is the Lord our God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I call you, my friends, says the Lord, for I have made known to all that the Father has told me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field, which a person finds and hides again. And goes out in joy and sells all that he has to buy the field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, he goes and sells all he has and buys it. The <laughs> Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. 
second piece of this, the PF Act that he equates to a fine pearl, I can only imagine the majority of the people who are following Jesus didn't have that much wealth. I, I really don't. I, so the fact that he uses that kind of, um, or even five fields, he might add some, but it just occurs to me, knowing how they were, that they weren't in the wealthy part of society then. Only a few people were. But he uses that because he realizes it's not in material possessions that wealth is happening. Though we put a lot of value on that in our lives. But I think he was trying to equate to the fact that they have to look deeper into their hearts for what really is of value. Value each day. Obviously, I think most importantly is the relationships we have with our God and with each other. But when we get so stuck on material values and trying to estimate, you know, one of the things, of course, gymnast yesterday bowed out and everything. They're talking about what value she lost and the endorsements and everything. I'm thinking to myself, people have it all wrong. You have it wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's more about the value of who she is, mm -hmm. not what she's worth. So I think we need to do that ourselves each day. Let's continue in prayer this morning. For our priests and religious, may the Holy Spirit continue to strengthen them in their mission of spreading the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For government leaders, may the humility of Christ lead them in their governance of the people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For people plagued by fear, anxiety, or depression, may they know God's never-ending love for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For our faith community, may the word of God transform us and empower us in service to the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, may God welcome them to the eternal joy of his heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Brianna Fisher, who is living, and for all of the prayers and intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Share these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord God, of all creation, through your goodness, we have this bread to offer which earth has given, even as it may become for us the bread of life. Yes. Yes. Bless you, Lord God, of all creation, through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. For the divine work of even as it becomes for us our spiritual drink. Bless you, Lord God, forever. forever. Pray, my friends, that the gifts we have of bread and wine to give to our lives may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray the offerings which, which we bring, the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, the most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your heart. So lift, lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right, right and just. just. Always right and just our duty and salvation that we give you thanks. Holy Father, eternal God, through Christ our Lord, his death has celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. His coming in glory we await in wavering hope. So with all the choirs of angels and saints, we share the glory of the Lord as we sing. O oh, holy, 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 Lord God of us, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. 
Hosanna in the highest. Your holy indeed, we glorify O Lord, who loves the human race. You always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son, in, who is in our midst, when we gather by his love, when as once with the disciples, now for us opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, we ask you to send your Holy Spirit and send forth the Holy Spirit to sanctify our gifts of bread and wine this morning, becoming for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For on the day he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper ended, he took a chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink it. <laughs> this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we spread and drink this cup. We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate this memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led to the passion of the cross, to the glory of the resurrection, whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. We offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, which we should have forth the Paschal sacrifice handed on to us. Grant by the power of the Holy Spirit that we come and count it among the day of eternity, my members of your Son, whose body and blood we share in communion. By partaking of the sacred mystery, Almighty Father, give us life through that Spirit that we may be conformed to the image of your Son. And in the bond of communion, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Archbishop, all your people, grant also that the faithful of the Church, looking to the signs of the time, by the light of the Gospel, may be service to one another. <clears throat> Keep us attentive to the needs of all, that sharing in their grief and pain, in their joy and hope, we may faithfully bring the good news of salvation and go forward with them along the way of your kingdom. Remember our family and friends who have fallen asleep in the peace of Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Let them rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Bring us also to the pilgrimage on earth when we are done, that we may turn to the dwelling place and live with you forever in the communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God. Bless Joseph, her spouse, and all the saints, praising and exalting you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, and in the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Savior's command, born by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, born in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, come, thy thy will will be done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our, our daily bread, bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Bring us peace in each day of our lives. In your mercy, free us from sin. Save from distress as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. We the, the kingdom, the power, power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity in your kingdom we live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. spirit. We share that peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of 
of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are those called mm -hmm. the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to choose you to enter into my room. My soul shall be healed. Spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 Let's pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament and perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us in salvation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Christ your spirit. spirit. Blessings of the Lord be with you this day, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Have a great day, everyone. You too, Father. Father.